So what did you learn from that game in West Virginia on the road the first time that will help you you know, navigate a road game, you know, in a hostile atmosphere at this time? Uh, definitely just situational football, uh, converting on third down, so um, just stopping plays from being drive stoppers, um, executing, taking the layups, and just taking what they give you. Don't try to force anything. What about, you know, the environment and kind of the noise and, and, and kind of the distractions that, that being on the road kind of present? I mean, there's always going to be noise. We practice and noise, but it's our job just to block everything out and just focus on our sideline and everything between the white lines. Did you find the noise to be an issue at all at West Virginia? No, I just had to be louder, <laughs> but that's about it. Just not a big issue. And uh, any significance in the first ACC game that you'll be, you know, you'll be playing in? Uh, um, uh, what does it mean and how much different now does it kind of feel? I mean, a little different uh, getting into ACC play, uh, better opponents as you know, but I'm excited just to get down there and get things going. Bailey was talking about how you guys are very good friends mm -hmm. throughout this whole situation. There's a lot of people obviously discussing the quarterback position. How hard is it to maintain a regular friendship or are you guys able to block all this stuff out? Oh yeah, we definitely block all this stuff out. Uh, we always coach each other up, watch film every single day together. So, I mean, we just stay within the stadium, my team, and just block out all the noise. Do you feel like there's any competition at that position from your perspective as the number one guy? I mean, there's always competition. Um, competition with them, competition between yourself. So at the end of the day, all positions have competition. Do you like the fact that there's that competition behind you? Oh, yeah. Keeping you in check? It makes me better. It makes me grow. It makes me work harder. He, um, you know, he was going to get the first series of the second quarter last week. Did you kind of maybe help him and try to prepare him for what it was going to be like? Or did, you know, does he need that? I um, mean, we always talk, just hype each other up, just tell them you got it, and we watch film. So as long as we're prepared, then we're good to step out there. And then the series that you were on the bench watching from the sidelines, what what did you do? I mean, did you kind of like just sit back and regroup? Did you, you know, did you kind of, uh, you know, think about what was going on or just kind of tune everything out? Uh, I watched the plays that he was running and put myself into it and just get the mental reps. That, you know, that break that you had, did that help any? Because when you came back in, you, you, you know, you were very effective. I mean, I guess a little bit. I was rested, but other than that, I was prepared and ready to go. That, that second quarter, you guys had some tempo going, and you really you kind of uh, were effective at, at that. Is that something that you prefer and feel like maybe is, is better, you know, uh, suited to your skill set to, 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 to go quick like that? Uh, yeah, I feel like it does. I love tempo. I love playing with tempo, especially when the O-line is moving with tempo too. We got to wait on those guys. So <laughs> as long as they play fast, we could play fast. But I definitely feel like it's something I, I could play well with. You're not going to be playing against the Florida State offense. But when you're going in a game and you see an offense like that has, has produced as many points as they have, does that make you give you the feeling that you guys are going to have to be really good in this game? I mean, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, as of today, they start really, they start strong in the beginning of the game. So. It's our job to start fast, play fast through the whole game, and finish fast. And what do you guys have to do to finish better? Because the last two weeks, you guys have really kind of dropped off in the second half. Uh, it's all about focus, just focus on the little details, uh, limiting the pre-snap penalties, and just doing our job. That's the biggest thing. How reliable is Thayer Thomas? Very reliable. I trust <laughs> him a lot. I trust a lot of those guys. That was exciting for you guys, just kind of watching them scoot mm -hmm. off of that punt return. Oh, yeah. score like that. Mm -hmm. How Very big a deal was that, you know, on the sideline? Oh, it was crazy. Just, I think that was his first one in college. So just seeing his his emotions, just how hype he was, is pretty cool and special. What's it like having your younger brother on the team? Oh, uh, pretty cool. Just seeing his growth uh, since he got here, seeing how hard he's worked. Uh, still has a lot more to grow, but it's pretty cool to say your little brother's on the team. You mentioned just focus and not mm -hmm. killing yourselves in terms of the second half against Ball State. Was there anything? else tangible on film that you noticed? I mean, because you had, what, one passing yard in the second half? That's <laughs> pretty unusual. I mean, that's just the play call. That's what we got called in. Uh, try to execute it. Some of the plays we couldn't execute. But we get the plays. It's our job to make it right out there. Do you have a feel yet for, for how, you know, the, the plays and reps are going to be broken up this week? Is Bailey going to, you know, see some action? I mean, do you, have you been given that, that decision yet? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's question for Coach Doran. <laughs>
What do you see with the Florida State defense? What kind of jumps out as you watch them and scout them? Uh, they have a lot of great players, athletic, fast. So it's our job to just, just execute our plays and just get them off guard with tempo and stuff. Have you talked to Barry about what it's like in Tallahassee, Florida State? And oh, yeah, we, we've been talking about it ever since <laughs> yeah. we got here. But, yeah, yeah we talked about it. What are some of the things he shared with you about Dope Campbell Stadium and all of that? Uh, it gets loud sometimes. It's fun to play in, so. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks,